You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. Hey Ink Flingers, how you doing today? Today we are doing a review on ProArt Waterproof India Ink. See how it compares to my current favorite, which is the Higgins Waterproof India Ink. So let's get down to it. So immediately right off the bat, I can see that this ink is very thick. Unlike the Higgins, this feels really funny. I am going to dilute the ink three to one with water so I get a good feeling of how it dilutes and whether or not I could use it for different values. It does feel really good right out of the airbrush and I'm getting a nice coverage so this part is very nice. I'm able to use freehand shields uh, very easily, which is uh, really great. Unlike the Higgins, it doesn't really want to dilute as easily. This is really annoying because I have to control values more by distance and PSI. As opposed to the Higgins Waterproof India ink, I can dilute it to get different values much easier. As you can see, you can get some really nice gradations, which really is a good thing, and I'm enjoying the ink right now. You can also get some really nice detail. The handling of the ink is very good through the airbrush, and so far, it's a very doable ink. It erases very well, and I'm very happy about that. The graphite sort of comes to the surface when you spray over the pencil lines, so it erases very well. Very similar to Higgins in that respect. I do like the way that it layers. You can continually get darker as you spray on top of one layer and another layer. So that is... Uh, Definitely a plus. Not as good as Higgins, but still a very, very good ink so far. Now, how does it react to, let's say, brush techniques? So I went ahead and did a really good test. I'm using the same ink that I've been shooting through the airbrush, same dilution. And it really is taking well. It, uh, the brush strokes are clean. They don't stain, so they're very even. So definitely a very good mark for pro art here. I'm adding a few more drops of the India ink and I have a much darker value now. And I'm just really making the darks richer, trying to add volume to the painting. And it really is up for the challenge. I'm getting some really beautiful darker values here. With the darker values, you can get some really nice hard edges that really complement the soft edges of the earlier stage of the painting. So it's a very, very good ink so far. In the later stages of the painting, you can see I'm using an aggressive eraser and it's taking to it really well. Uh, the soft erasers don't work even with Higgins at this later stage. So as far as erasability, it's very similar to Higgins. So final report card, so to speak, on the ProArt Waterproof India ink. I really like it. It's not as good as the Higgins India ink as far as dilution, smooth gradations. So if I'm giving Higgins an A+, I'm going to give ProArt Waterproof India ink, I'm going to give that a B. So a very, very good India ink, and I really highly recommend it as a backup ink in case you run out of the Higgins Waterproof India ink. This will be good in a lifesaver if, let's say, you didn't have any Higgins, you could use this for a commission, but definitely stick with the Higgins Waterproof India ink. So I hope this helps you, and I'll see you this Wednesday night at 9.30 as we do more of the airbrush india ink portraits so very exciting and i hope you have a great week
Take care of yourselves.